We are talking with uh, John Harrison from Vegas Killers and Zach Rosenfield from AccuScore.com previewing week three in college football. John Harrison, uh, you told me that you uh, found the total in Northern Illinois, Wisconsin to be a, an interesting uh, bet that you're looking at. Uh, you know, Northern Illinois has gone way, way over in the first two games. Super explosive offense. The total in this game is now 63 and a half up from 61. You see this is a game where you're looking at another over or do you think it's going to be a regression to a different direction? I got it flying way over. I think Wisconsin actually covers the total themselves. Mm. Uh, Northern Illinois is a team that's going to not stay in the game, but they're going to be in it enough to force Wisconsin to keep scoring. Uh, they're not going to call the dogs off like they did against UNLV. Uh, we all know that Wisconsin's loaded with Russell Wilson, uh, Toon, Monty Ball, Pedersen, but it's, the game's really going to be about Chandler Harnish of uh, Northern Illinois. Completing 75% of his passes, they have a run game there, and their defense can't stop anybody. On field turf, uh, Wisconsin, the last nine games, they've gone over seven. They've gone under once and pushed one time. This is going to be an easy over. I expect close to 100 points. Okay, what do you what do you make of the fact that uh, you know the first game Wisconsin played they they scored 50 on UNLV, the game went to 68, but then against Oregon State they shut Oregon State out. What do you make of that of that game that result? Bad Oregon State offense. That's all it is. Uh, Northern Illinois offensively is much better than uh, Oregon State. Also, too. Oregon State just gave up. That's not going to happen this week. The Northern Illinois plays with the chip on the shoulder. There's no way they just give up. Right. All right. Well, I definitely uh, there are definitely times when I see totals. You know, like last year, I remember a bunch with Hawaii where you'd see them in this range, and I would know that it was a, it was a great bet still on the over. Zach Rosenfield, do you have any opinion on this uh, on this total? Very high, sixty three and a half at the moment. Yeah, I, I say go over as well. I mean, to the to the point that was just made. Northern Illinois scored 40 points in both their games this year. So now they're eight quarters into the season, and as an offense that's spent the offseason trying to get better, they know they can score. If you take a look at that Oregon State team, I mean, what a team in flux. They couldn't beat Sacramento State at home. They have a quarterback controversy coming into week two. They're on their fourth string running back. They're an absolute debacle and a mess. So when it went started going bad for them early, they just laid down. They couldn't even flip field position. So it basically became a scrimmage for Wisconsin of not wanting to show a lot of tape, not a lot, pardon me, not put a lot of stuff on tape. So, yeah, we actually have this number at 64, but – Bear in mind, I mean, that's just us really saying that it's over. It's hard for a computer formula to say that it's going to be 70, 80, or 90 because Wisconsin does have such an advantage on defense against the Northern, Northern Illinois offense. But we do like this game to get over. I mean, eventually, Wisconsin is, a uh, you know, they, they score points. So you're only asking for just over nine touchdowns. I think that's not a tall order to ask for either 